got you. Just sleep. Look, I got you. Just sleep. There you go. Nice and comfy all the way down. Sleep. Like I said, the potatoes sleeping all the way, nice and comfy. Sinking further and further into the ground. <laughs> There's a round of applause out here, which is for you. We'll send you a million times deeper each and every time. Hi, I'm Fred Lee. I'm the guy in the suit. And yes, I did hypnotize that guy and all the people in the chairs. You're probably wondering how I ended up here in the first place. Let's rewind, shall we? in Stanley, North Dakota. It's like middle of the night here. It's a lot of snow. It's a lot of snow. It's not even that cold. For a hotel? All paid for? This is, this is pretty damn nice. Like, you know, this is... This is ample, ample space. All right, it's pretty late, so I'm gonna turn in. I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll explore more of Stanley, North Dakota, see what this place got to offer. It's morning, gonna go down and grab some breakfast and explore the area. See you in a bit. have an indoor water park in the mall. So I'm out here in Minot because pretty much everything's in Minot and Stan Lee has like nothing. So got myself a fresh cut, relaxed at this spa nearby. Now time to get some food. I never anticipated going to a bowling alley for lunch since I was in the mood for cheesesteak. Google took me there and next thing you know I had a pretty decent cheesesteak. I got some cheese curds along the way but it's so salty that it's indistinguishable from haters in the comment section. This weather is pretty nutty. I mean, the first deal is uh, relatively chill. Now it's pretty darn windy. And skies are cleared up. It was kind of sprinkling here and there when I was driving around, but time to grab some dinner and then get ready for that event. For dinner, I decided to hit up the Leader, which is the highest rated eatery in the area. Turns out, the aesthetics are cool, but I ordered a pizza and it was nothing more than matzo bread with a bunch of stuff on it. The pizza is called the Kitchen Sink, and you can see why. When you're on the road, make sure you always have some moisturizer for your face and some pomade for your hair. I'm not sponsored by any of them, but so you look sharp for a gig. So I'm here at the venue relatively early. It's just so I can get set up and stuff, especially if you do certain events. It's pro tip, make sure you get there at least 30 minutes early, if not a touch earlier. So that way you can have ample time to get situated, find parking, all that stuff. And yeah, do whatever you can to make your show a success. So we're going to get on with the cool stuff in just a sec. See you inside.
Well, if you want to see the whole show, because I want to show a little snippet, some clips here and there of the show in this video, check out the eye icon above. So that way you can see the full highlight reel of the show. So you can see how much fun we had. It was a killer night. Personally, I thought it was a little slower start than the previous one. Every audience is different, but either way, you gotta make a show happen somehow, regardless of your audiences. And I really appreciate every single one that, every client that's booked me and taken me to all sorts of places. And usually, um, interestingly enough, last show someone had a headache and then I cured him of it. This, after this show, this was like post-show talk. I didn't even anticipate any of this. I didn't even bother recording. But a couple of them were like, oh, I had a headache in the front. So I took care of that. And then someone had like some balance issues, which was a first, but apparently this happened to this guy for like about a year now. Took care of that also. So just some minor hypnotherapy on the side, <laughs> just because I want to make sure that all my volunteers and anyone there is fully taken care of. No one's hurt, you know, that type of stuff. I always watch out for everyone that I work with. Anyways, I got an early flight to catch. So see you later. I decided to conclude this journey with a Manhattan, some elk steaks, and some wonderful lava cake. And if you enjoyed all of these wonderful sights, and also learned a little bit more about me and what I do when I travel and go out and do these kinds of shows and stuff, smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring in that bell icon so you don't miss out on a brand new video. I try to upload as consistently as possible, but if you subscribe, you don't gotta worry about it you'll know when a new video is out. Really appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you later.